Apple just released its 2013 iPhone lineup, which includes the new iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. But people are already looking ahead to late 2014, when Apple is expected to unveil the next model of its cheaper iPhone. Rumors the iPhone 6C, as it has been come to be called, have been circulating for a few months now, and even though I don't have the full picture of what Apple plans to offer in this phone, I've rounded up some of the biggest rumors and reports about possible features to give you an idea of what Apple might release in the iPhone 6C next year. Now the first and most interesting rumor is that the iPhone 6C might have a larger screen. For months, news companies like the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg have reported that Apple is testing prototype iPhone models with screens ranging from 5 to 6 inches. NPD Display Search also speculated that Apple may release two different large screened iPhones in 2014, including an iPhone with a 4.7 inch screen, which would be an iPhone 6C, and one with a 5.7 inch screen, which may or may not exist. Now, though, though most reports about the iPhone 6C mention a larger screen, IB Times doubts Apple will release an iPhone with a larger screen in 2014. Rumors of larger screen iPhones are nothing new. In fact, Apple experiments with iPhone prototypes of all shapes and sizes, so while the reports of a larger iPhone prototype may be accurate, this in no way means that Apple actually plans to release such a phone, especially in 2014. Now, another interesting rumor is that the iPhone 6C might have a curved or flexible display. Apple has several patents for curved screen designs for the iPhone, but Forbes believes Apple will actually release these technologies in time for the iPhone 6C. According to a person familiar with the plans, Apple will release the iPhone 6C with glass that curves downward at the edges, and again reiterated the iPhone's possible 4.7 inch and 5.5 inch screen sizes. Samsung and LG have already decided to release curved screen smartphones, the Galaxy Round and the LG G Flex, and many believe Apple will follow suit. Now another big rumor that people are speculating about is that there might be a lighter liquid metal build in the iPhone 6 and 6C. Apple typically changes the iPhone's form factor every two years, but even if Apple doesn't change the size and shape of the iPhone for the release of the iPhone 6, it's possible Apple will simply make the same iPhone form much lighter. Apple has several patents for the use of amorphous metal alloys, aka liquid metal, ever since Apple signed an exclusive deal in 2010 with California-based liquid metal technologies, and this was the first company to commercially develop the technology. The patents suggest Apple might be used to use liquid metal to manufacture and release iPhones more quickly, since the process of creating liquid metal parts layer by layer is significantly less expensive and faster than traditional machines building the current all-aluminum iPhone. Now, the former director of research at Liquid Metal Technology said in 2010 after the Apple acquisition, I think they're going to make the iPhone out of it. Now, Apple may indeed release the Liquid Metal iPhone 6 C with a larger curved screen, but honestly, it may be more of an incremental upgrade. Apple will probably release the iPhone 6 C with the same form factor and 4 inch screen, but it will probably have a new A8 chip with 64 bit architecture, which would presumably work like the A7X chip. They'll probably also have Touch ID functionality, which didn't come to the iPhone 5C this generation, but will probably come to all of Apple's products in the future. The 6C will also likely release with the M7 coprocessor, which has been in the iPhone 5S. Apple has made so many vast improvements to its eyesight camera with the iPhone 5S, and it's likely a lot of these improvements will come to the 6C. Apple may even improve the cameras further on the 6 and 6C, possibly adding more megapixels like maybe 12 or 13, but it's also possible the iPhone 6 could allow users to finally take 3D images with their phones. While existing 3D cameras and video recorders gather three-dimensional information from objects, they're generally incapable of getting detailed enough information in relation to the shapes, surfaces, and depth of the objects. The iPhone 6C will also probably release with the next generation Wi-Fi AC as well as iOS 8 built in, as the release date for the new iOS tends to precede new iPhone launches by just a few days. Now, Apple may also lower the price of the iPhone 6C to maybe more like $49 on contract, because right now the 5C doesn't appeal to people in emerging markets who really have very little money to spend. It's more targeted at the like the teenage segment in the US, but if Apple really wanted to release a true budget smartphone, making the price cheaper would be the way to do it. Now let me know what you'd like to see in the iPhone 6C in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!